Hi, this is Loretta, and this time I'm filming a video for a swap that we did over at Beautiful Junk, which is a Facebook group, which is primarily, I guess it's kind of dedicated to altering things, recycling things, upcycling, whatever. Anyway, this time the swap was for an altered spool, and to my partner, I am really, really sorry because this is very, very late. And I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I've just had a hectic and extremely unusual month. But anyway, this is what I've come up with. And I'm really happy about how it turned out. I'm not really sure that you can tell that it's an altered spool. I'm going to kind of flip this over for you guys so you guys can see. This was a spool that I got. It was had Maya Road trim on it. And so that's what I decided to alter. I mod podged some Tim Holtz um, tissue paper on there, but you really can't see it hardly at all. It peeks through here and there a little bit on the project. And then I also did use some Tim Holtz wallflower paper. And what I did was I decided to make a little sewing caddy out of this spool. So, with the wallflower paper, I just kind of played around um, to get these little holders or baskets. Uh, I just took the wallflower paper and kind of rolled it like in a tussy mussy type of a style. There you can maybe see what I did. Until I got the right size and width that I wanted. And then I glued those together. And then I painted some matte glue and seal finish over the top of those. So that it would kind of have a little bit more substance to it. Um, on the top, I put, peeking through here, I put a little tiny piece of lace. And then I just distressed up some flowers here and put some little resin flowers there. One of my buttons fell out, or one of her buttons fell out. And then I put a Prima wooden clock right there. I'm trying to tip it so you guys can see a little bit. And I'm sorry for the shadows and the lighting. I just didn't know how else I could get a better, better view of it. It's just really bright today. But anyway, so, um, then what I did is I put some Prima Bling, and this is either Recollections or a uh, Prima Butterfly, I don't remember which, and then these are Prima and Recollections flowers, like this is a Prima flower, this is a Prima flower, this is a uh, Michael's, and then peeking right out from under here, I don't know if you can see it, let me turn to this one, this is a Recollections flower is some little doily a little piece of doily right there that is peeking through so this first bin right here has um some pretty cool little safety pins there they they um they don't have the little coil there now some of the safety pins in here are just kind of vintagey looking and they do have the little coil right there as you can see so really really cute love that and then you turn this and come to this caddy and this has little little buttons cute little buttons and it's got all kinds of, of little buttons in here I'm gonna take some of them out for you guys to see I've got some little silver ones and some little gold ones but then I also have some little vintage green and red and just all different kinds here um little peach color so there's all kinds of just little fun buttons tucked in here and i'll go ahead and put these all back um so anyway just kind of sewing theme and then when you turn to the next caddy you'll see that it's got little stick pins so, and what I did is I made a little pin cushion down here, and what I did, I used some 
uh, batting and then I've cut a white felt circle out and tucked that all around that batting and then I sewed a a little round doily about that big around. I sewed that to the top and then I tucked that down in there and so then that just you know holds these little stick pins that she can decorate up however she'd like in there so and then over here I had some little sewing themed spools of ribbon and like this one has all kinds of different um, sewing icons on it. it's actually on there backwards it's got like little just little um sewing machines and stick pin pin cushions and things like that and then this one is kind of um looks like a measuring tape i'm having trouble getting that where you guys can see i don't know i hope you guys can see it and so i just tied that on there with a little piece of um, embroidery floss and I just kind of let that dangle there so anyway I just think that came out super super cute and this is a little pair right here of some vintage scissors now these are strictly decoration they're very fragile they're very old and they're um, kind of rickety I, I wouldn't use them necessarily, but I thought they just kind of gave that little vintage flair to that. And I kind of got this idea. I saw something similar to this on a taller wooden spool on Pinterest that had looked like it was kind of a burlap type of a feel and had little like kind of burlap um, pouches on the side of it. It was super, super cute. And so I thought, you know, I think I'll I'll do something like that. And then I also have, I'm just going to kind of pan up for you guys just a little bit. And I don't know, hopefully you guys can see this right here. This is my desk caddy and it's got a little, a little, um, oh, I don't know. I guess a little caddy that holds my uh, adhesives and things like that. And it's kind of similar to this as well. So I just kind of thought that this would be a fun and unique idea to do for an altered spool. So anyway, that's it guys. Um, If you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to send me a comment or a message and I'll be glad to get back to you. Uh, I, as always, you guys blow me away with your support. I love all of you guys so much. And thank you so much for watching my videos. It means the world to me. And um, I don't always get to your comments. In fact, it's rare that I can get to any comments because honestly, I'm so busy. And I'll, I know all of you are busy too. So you take time out of your busy days to make comments on my videos. And they touch my heart and they warm my spirit and... I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. So anyway, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message real quick. I hope she likes this. And again, I'm so sorry it's late. Um, until next time, bye.